has Shutterstock gotten its group back? For those of you who don't remember, Shutterstock is an online marketplace where all kinds of businesses can quickly and legally license millions upon millions of high quality photos, videos, illustrations, and now even music. In a world where we're constantly hearing about the importance of digital and especially mobile advertising, it's more important than ever that companies be able to create ads that actually look good. And Shutterstock makes it incredibly easy to find the kind of stock footage or imagery that you're searching for. However, the stock did get crushed last year, losing more than half of its value as part of that brutal sell-off of all things growth, though. Lately, though, Shutterstock has been on the mend, rallying 25% year-to-date. Plus, just last week, the company reported a strong quarter, $0.07 cent earnings beat off a of $0.29 cent basis, higher than anticipated revenues, up 20% year-over-year, thanks to a 23% increase in paid downloads. That's nice growth. On top of that, management's full-year revenue guidance came in ahead of Wall Street's expectations. Still, even after its recent run, stock's not expensive. 24 times next year's earnings, which is pretty reasonable. That's a good valuation given the growth rate. So can the stock keep climbing? Let's check in with John Oranger. He's the founder of chair and chairman and CEO of Shutterstock to find out more about the quarter and, where, and the prospects. Mr. Oranger, welcome back to Mad Money. John, I got to tell you, uh, I don't think people realize how big you are. And the number that always yeah. jumps out is 1.5 million customers in the last 12 months downloaded. Yeah, we have how is that possible? One and a half million customers. They're businesses of all sizes that use our images to sell their products and their services. That equates to f selling five images every single second. Well, that's amazing. And you've added music, which I thought would be fantastic for cell phones, music has been and great. associated press. How does that work? Yeah, so as we um, make our way more into editorial also, right. um, we were mostly in commercial images for, most, mm -hmm. for our 13 years of existence. Um, these are images that are newsworthy. They're media events. They're entertainment events. And the AP um, has all of this coverage. So by partnering with the AP, we get that content into our system. And today, it's available f to our enterprise accounts. Um, which have been growing and, and is well, a big part of our business Well, let's talk about that because you know, a lot of our viewers, you know, we have some hedge fund people. We also have, enterprise versus, re, versus smaller. Enterprise has been growing pretty terrifically, and that's got to have great margins. So just describe what kind of business yeah. would want that. Today we have almost 30,000 enterprise accounts. They're agencies and big media companies of all types. Generally, um, an enterprise account would have a parent account, which is the, the company, and right. a whole bunch of employees using uh, those images. We negotiate a rate, and we set the account up exactly the way that they need it. Uh, in 2015, that accounted for 25% of our revenue. It's growing really fast. That 28,000 account number of enterprise accounts grew 80% mm -hmm. year over year. So this is a big part of our business, and we continue to fuel it uh, with all the businesses that come in, and we upgrade them uh, as they need better service. Now, it looks like uh, some places that I didn't count on as being important. Korea, India, Germany have turned to you. They, why are you the natural in those countries? Well, today, 60% of our business is outside the U.S. That's incredible since I've yeah. seen it last. That's and, amazing. And the amazing thing about images is that you don't need that many words to sell an image. So back in 2006, we translated the site into Japanese, and we instantly started to see sales in Japan. And um, over the years, we, we've translated to now 20 different languages. And so we've been, it's in our DNA to be an international, global business. Um, and that shows in our numbers today where... Uh, outside the U.S., we have we have amazing business and growth in, in countries all over the place. Now, um, you emphasize in your conference call that marketing is important. I mean, you, you actually talk about chief marketer, but that you are the most aggressive marketer. Well, why does that matter? Is it their competitors that are less that are less uh, vocal in, in in telling their story? Well past 13 years, we've wanted to build a solid brand. Right. And building a brand takes investing in that brand. So we've spent um, years and years building the Shutterstock brand and all of our associated uh, brand names around that. Right. We've also invested heavily in search engine marketing, in SEO, um, in getting people to understand how and why they need to license the images that they're they're using to sell their, their products and services. Mm -hmm. um, and all of that has kind of created this halo effect around the brand and allowed us to bring in footage, allowed us to bring in music, allowed us to bring in digital asset management services and sell all of that stuff um, to businesses all around the world. You know, do, do people know or, or how, who tells people that they're doing stuff illegally? Um, generally, the content creator will find it and tell them. Um, but it's, it's, it's been an educational process right. over the past decade, and, and we've... We've, we've gotten customers in the door. We've gotten them to understand that they need to license these images, that copyright is important, that their business depends on it. Um, and for a few bucks, you don't get into any trouble. That's what I thought. I mean, once people hear it, it's not like it's like, you know, like playing, like catching the, you know, the NFL. They really come down on you. But anybody else, I mean, it's a pretty reasonable thing to use you. 
Yeah, it's uh, look, you gotta, you, you have to license uh, the intellectual property that you use, and businesses know that. Um, there are some places in the world where that's something that's new, right? Um, and we have to continue to to push that education all over the planet. Well, John, one of the things that struck me since I saw you last, two hundred and seventy-five million dollars of cash now. I mean, this thing must be a cash machine, much more than I thought. Yeah, yeah. We um, look. We're we're guiding to a half billion of revenue this year. We're guiding to a hundred million of EBITDA this year. That's um, a huge amount of EBITDA on that amount of revenue. Yeah, we have no debt, uh, and so we invest our money very wisely. We've been profitable for every single quarter for the past thirteen Amazing. years. Amazing. Eight dollars a share in cash. I We've mean, been buying back some of our stock, too. Makes sense. I mean, I've seen a bunch of growth stocks like you where, frankly, your stock's gotten way too cheap versus the growth rate, and the ones that really make money like you have been taking advantage of it. Yep. Well, you That's deserve it. It's just a, I think it's a great business model, and you guys are clearly the number one at this business. That's John Oranger. He's the chairman and CEO of Shutterstock. You like growth? This one has growth. Man, money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.